Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hello, gorgeous souls, and welcome back to another episode of the Manifestation Babe podcast. Today, I am so excited to bring to you an interview with one of my students, Jess O'Connell, who signed up for Business by Design in combination with Manifestation Babe last year and got powerful results. On today's episode, Jess is going to share with you the transformation that she had from growing her business to six figures within her very first year and how she went from being super stressed out, working long hours in her business before discovering BBD to making the big investment in herself and creating 10K plus months while working less and even winning a spot to my Bali retreat for the top voted BBD transformation last year, which I am also giving away again this year to the top BBD transformation of 2020. Wink, wink. Jess is someone who also adopted the belief that her success is inevitable, and she's going to inspire you in this episode by sharing how your business too can thrive through any business environment. It's so good, you guys. I can't wait for you to hear her story. And before we get into it, remember that the doors to business by design are officially open. Right now, it is live. And this is the only business program that I 100% stand behind and recommend to all of my online digital manifestation babe entrepreneurs out there. I've even included 10 ridiculously awesome bonuses to anyone who chooses to invest in business by design by June 25th, which is this Thursday at midnight to help you master the art of manifesting your dream business. Think live breathwork sessions, a masterclass on the millionaire mindset, my top energy secrets that every entrepreneur must know to hack the business matrix, a chance to win a spot to next year's Bali retreat, potent intention setting worksheets, a subliminal audio hypnosis, meditation to help you rewire your thinking to think like a seven-figure CEO, and so much more. You can get enrolled into Business by Design right now and get all of my exclusive bonuses through manifestyourbusinessbydesign.com. Again, that's manifestyourbusinessbydesign.com. Doors close this Thursday by midnight. So if 2020 is the year that you decide to build your dream business, do not miss this opportunity. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into today's super inspiring episode and hear from Jess herself. Hello, gorgeous souls, and welcome back to the Manifestation Bay podcast. I have a very special guest today. Her name is Jess O'Connell. And the reason why I'm so excited to bring her on the podcast today is because she is someone who had an epic business transformation, investing into business by design back in 2019 through the Manifestation Bay bonuses and even won a spot to my Bali retreat, which unfortunately did not happen last month. But you know what? It's getting postponed. It's going to happen. We still have it to look forward to. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys and with Jess about all of the incredible shifts that she had, especially during this weird time that we're in right now, where a lot of people are fearful and they're uncertain and they don't really know what 
is going to happen to their business. And I just want to give you guys a different perspective to what is possible for you when you invest in yourself, when you go after your dreams, and when you believe that your success is inevitable, which I see just right now behind you, you have a sign that says my success is inevitable. And I bet you that that has played off in your favor in this entire journey, has it not? Oh my gosh, that truly is like the domino belief that completely changed my life and business. And you are the one that gave it to me. So I keep it up there as a reminder to all of my clients and a reminder to myself that like, this is the ultimate truth. Oh my God, I love it. Well, Jess, before we dive in, can you just share a little bit about yourself and what is it that you do? Yeah, my name is Jess and I am an online coach and strategist for women who want to create an impactful, beautiful business, like sharing what is on their heart. So using the experiences and knowledge and uh, like life experience that they already have and creating a huge, amazing business with it. Um, Incredible. Can you take us back and kind of paint a picture of maybe what your business looked like before you got into any of the tools that you have learned since that investment in 2019, um, like what was going on for you that made you go, okay, something needs to shift here. Yes. So I started my business in January of 2019 and I started it with like a lightning flash from the universe of like, this is what you need to do. And I felt like I was freaking crazy because it was such a left turn from what I was doing, but I was like, I feel crazy, but I'm going to do this. What were you doing before? So I was a beach body coach before. Oh my God. Twins. Yes. Isn't that and, so funny? And you got a lightning bolt too. Like this is. Yes. Amazing. Okay. I cool. was like, this is what I need to do. And I was like, I need to teach. Like I felt it so strongly on my heart. I was moving more into like mindset coaching and like the mindset around fitness. And I knew that like, it came to me like, no, you need to teach beach body coaches how to sell from their soul and not sell like they're being taught to sell from their soul, not sell their soul. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. And so out of the blue, I was like, Hey, I'm going to teach this. And I just launched it like literally in three days. I said like, Hey, I want to do this. And I like put together a quick challenge, launched it, made like $1,500. And I was like, Whoa, like there's something to this, (laughs) like listening to the universe thing and taking action. And so I kept trying to recreate that and kept trying to like build my business in that way. And four months in, I felt like I was spinning my wheels and really just doing all of the things. I was launching like three or four things a month, which is insane now that I think about it. (laughs) And like my audience was so burnt out and I was just trying to figure out the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And then I saw this free challenge, I think from an ad for this like manifestation girl who was having a like five day manifestation challenge. And I like grew up around the like metaphysical world. My dad is into the secret and showed it to us when I was in like fifth grade. I was going to ask how you so easily just follow that lightning bolt. Most people go, Oh, that that's an interesting idea, but they don't really think about pursuing it. They just go, yeah, but, but not for me or like, yeah. or, but that sounds hard. And so they just keep doing what, whatever it is that they're doing. So I was going to ask you that. I'm like, yeah. how did you just like go, okay, that's what I meant to do and go <laughs> for it. And it makes complete sense. Your dad was in the seat. Yeah, the seat. exactly. So like, I've always had this like underlying belief that like things come to you for a reason and And I grew, like, he's entrepreneurial as well. So I grew up with this, like, sense of following your intuition. And so I saw this ad and I was like, yes, I need to learn how to manifest. Like, I've always been interested in it. It was for Manifestation Babe Academy. And I signed up for the free challenge and I watched all of the videos. I did the hypnosis and I did the... um, the meditations and I was obsessed with it. And I was launching what then became my signature offer last year right around that time. And I said, like, if I make the thousand dollars to get in, to pay for this program, then I'll do it. And it was March 3rd or not March, May 3rd last year. And it was my husband's birthday and we went to celebrate his birthday. And I had just made my first $10,000 in my business. And I was doing the math since the start of the challenge, I had made a thousand dollars and I was like, well, shit. And I was taking a bubble bath, like celebrating my business. And I got the like doors are closing email. It was like, do it now or the doors are closing. 
And I was like, well, shit, I made the money. Like I manifested the money to take the program. I have to do it. (laughs) And so I signed up like in the bubble bath and I was like, I'm all in. And that completely changed the trajectory of the rest of my life. Mm, So powerful. And this is for Manifestation Wave Academy, right? Yes. So I started working with you with Manifestation Wave Academy. That program like laid this foundation that like my success is inevitable. That was the domino belief that changed everything because I was hustling. I was afraid of failure. I was just trying to, I felt like I had caught lightning in that first launch and I was just trying not to let go of it. And so I was like, I have to do another thing and another thing and another thing, just trying to recreate the success that I had had when I followed my intuition. And that program really taught me to like, slow down and listen to my intuition and that like being as if and like shifting my identity. That was another really game changing thing for me and like letting go of the things like I'm a procrastinator, I'm a perfectionist and like letting go of those beliefs and rewriting the identity of who I wanted to become. And then through MBA, I was introduced to James Wedmore through you and that all like completely opened up things for me too. Amazing. What was the thing? Okay. So what was the thing that made you go, okay, investing now, now that I've invested in MBA and had such shifts, I'm sure like that gave you plenty of evidence of like, Mm -hmm. Hey, investing in myself, investing in my mindset, investing in my business is going to take me so far because first of all, you're going with a leap of faith the first Mm -hmm. time you do it. And then when it shifts your life that much, you, it makes it so much easier to keep investing. Um, which is awesome. And I always tell people just like make that first investment and like not just make that first investment. It's one thing to just give your money somewhere mm-hmm. in exchange for something and then let it sit there. That's not going to create a transformation. What's going to create a transformation is if you go all in on it. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and then, and then the second time you do it and the third time you do it, it's not to say that like, so, you know, as, as you grow and as you up level, there might be more up level decisions that you need to make. And they could actually spark very old fears that have come that you ha- you thought you worked through the first time you did it. And then it comes up again, but it's like so much of a deeper layer that if you keep reinforcing it, you're going to, you're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. What was it for you that inspired you to make an investment into now a, business program. Cause I know that MBA has, this mm-hmm. is the funny part. MBA <laughs> has nothing to do with business, right? Yet entrepreneurs get a ton of results from it. And then I love, I used to, um, fun fact, I used to like, my niche used to be like female entrepreneurs and I wanted to help them manifest more money, manifest more clients. I taught them how I built my coaching business whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And then I just like realized that I want to help with so much more than that. And so I just kind of like expanded, but once a year I come back into this business world and I love talking about entrepreneurship because obviously I live the entrepreneurship world. So it'd be mm-hmm. weird to not occasionally talk about it. Um, and so I love to promote James Wedmore, not just because he's one of my good friends now, not just because I really like him and we hang out and all this stuff, but because I truly believe in the work that he does. And just as an example of like the, the impact that business by design had on her life, I'm so curious what was it that shifted for you with business by design? Are there any like tangible things that happened? Yes, for sure. So I like, if you're an entrepreneur and you're like, should I do business by design? You should absolutely do it through Catherine because like the bonuses and all of the stuff that came through your program laid that foundation of limitless self-belief that enabled everything else to thrive. Like if you try to start a business, but you don't believe in yourself and you are afraid that like, no matter how high you get, you're just going to fall even farther waiting for the other shoe to drop. These were all beliefs that I had. And by adopting the belief that my success was inevitable and that everything was a lesson and that it was all adding up in my favor, I got to be kind of ballsy in my business and experimental and try things that might fail. And that did fail, but all of those failures led up to even more clarity and even more success afterward. And so had I not like worked with you beforehand and built up my self-belief, I would have quit, right? There's so many entrepreneurs who like try something and it doesn't work immediately. And they're like, well, then this isn't for me. Yeah. But by having that foundation that's what gives you the, like the strength and the balls to 
really play in your business and be a scientist in your business. I love that. Be a scientist in your business because then your business becomes an experiment and exactly. scientists don't give up just yeah. because one thing didn't work. That's the whole point of an experiment is that you try as many things mm -hmm. as you can possibly think of to put into that experiment, whatever that experiment might mm -hmm. be. And, and the only way you're finished with the experiment is if you've tried literally everything that comes to mind. And honestly, like if you think about it, with how limitless the universe is and how limitless um, energy is and the idea is like there is no finish point. It's like the finish mm -hmm. point is when you're, I don't know, maybe like done with that business and want to transition to another one or you just keep going for the rest of your life or I don't know. Like I, I don't know about you, Jess, but like I can't imagine ever retiring right. because I just like, even when I go on vacation for like a, a, a month and that's, that's what I, that's what I've built up my business to be able to do like with James's processes and all his stuff that he was really a, a great, he is still a really great mm -hmm. team um, mentor for team building for me. I learned so much about delegating and I had so many fears around letting go of tasks and letting go of control and like being like, Oh my God, there's people here that are mm -hmm. working for me, but do I trust them? Do I know, do they know what they're doing? Can they do it as well as I can, which is a huge huge, huge limiting belief that like only you can do the yes. things that you think you need to be doing in your business, like answering an email. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, um, I've been able to like go on a trip for a month and take that whole month off and just like really truly feel the freedom of what it feels like to build an actual business, to be a CEO and all those systems and processes and everything inside of BBD. It's like, it's such a game changer. And the reason why, um, I love what you're saying. Like it's, it's, you're such a testament to like all of the strategies and tactics and processes are awesome, but it really does start with your mindset and what mm -hmm. you believe and how you think about your business. Can you share some more like tips or tricks for, um, other female or male entrepreneurs out there who maybe are at a standstill, they're getting burnt out, they're feeling stuck. Like where can they start? like just with, with the tools that, that you have used, like where can they start and, and what advice would you give to them? Yeah. I feel like when I got into BBD, like that's really where I was. Like I knew that I was made for more and I knew that I was ready to take on more. And what BBD did was gave me like, I know that he jokes about this, but literally like a Lego construction manual on how to build a successful oh, business. Okay. Yeah. And one of the biggest things that I love about it and that you bring up about a team, cause I'm just starting, I'm in that phase now. Yeah. And so I just hired an integrator and I've Good gone job. through like lower level teammates that like our relationship fails because I don't trust people. <laughs> Big control freak over here. And so hiring her on like that program has really helped me with that mindset too, but it's not. I feel like a lot of programs out there are like six weeks to specific results or like four weeks and then you're done. BBD is literally like the Lego construction manual for the rest of your business forever. And you're never going to run out of things in there. Like I didn't consume the team models when I first started, but now like I can go in and there's new content that meets me at my next level and my next level. And I know that everything that I need to get my business to multiple millions, which is where I'm headed. Yes. He's yes, in girl. that program. So I love that you mentioned that because just, just out of curiosity, how much is, uh, is your business currently generating? So in my first year of business, I made a hundred thousand dollars, like $106,000. Amazing. Yeah. And on the, and, uh, do you go, do you look at it as annual or do you look at it as monthly? Like um, monthly? I look at both. So currently I'm averaging between 13 and $15,000 a month. Incredible. And you started, you said at seven last year when you came across, um, MBA and BBD. Yeah. Yep. I was my first, like I had made, I was making like $1,500 a month before I found MBA and then MBA got me from like two, less than $2,000 a month to my first 10 K month. And then business by design took me into, and I actually like, I'm in a completely different niche doing something with completely different and still like I had my first 20 K launch and I am about to launch a program that I'm manifesting a million dollar launch. I have yes. a card right here. Oh my God. You have the check. Oh I my do. God. I love it. I love I it. Do. You're so MB. I love it. Next to a beautiful citrine. 
Yes. Amazing. For the extra vibes. <laughs> Amazing. So this is such a great example of like, okay, I, I sometimes joke. I'm like, I freaking wish I found BBD when I started. I mean, mm-hmm. the amount of stress that that would have saved me mm-hmm. if, if I had it. And I think I, I so agree with you. The thing that makes it so different is that it's not just like a step, step by step in order to get to your first 10 K month or something like that, that we usually see, which there's nothing wrong with that right. whatsoever. The, the reason why I BBDs changed my life is because like I was making, I may already made my first million dollars by the time I found BBD. Mm-hmm. And so you would think like, oh, there's nothing in it for me yet. Okay, great. Revenue is awesome. But like when you have no structure on your, in your business, Mm -hmm. like, as you mentioned, you had a million offers. I had a zillion offers. Uh, My team, we didn't have team meetings. Mm -hmm. I was just so confused on how to like lead my team. I was like, there was no structure. There was, there was just nothing like nobody, like people were kind of like having their hands everywhere at the same time. So it was like being a solo entrepreneur, but then just like doubling or tripling that solo entrepreneur. So everyone's like a solo (laughs) entrepreneur, kind of like working on their own and trying to fix the pieces and kind of like putting out fires here and there. And then what changed was all of a sudden there's a structure, there's a system, everyone knows what they're doing. We're growing the team. Like it's been so mind blowing. And I just want to point out to people, like if you're brand new, there's, um, two awesome things that I know James just added in. Well, he added in last year, nail your niche, but also mm-hmm. I was in the weekend course that he just did program design. And yes, people, people are so mind blown that I'm in there because they're like, what the hell are you doing in here, Catherine? Mm-hmm. But I, I just developed such a beginner's mindset because you never know when you hear that one thing, even, even the so-called like being an expert, when you just hear that one tweak that completely changes the game for you and takes you to multiple millions and takes yes. you to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and who knows Mm -hmm. how far. Um, and so they're just like mind blown. And that program right there, if you don't have a course can help you start a course. If you're someone who is making between five to 10 K like doubling, tripling your revenue. If you're someone who is ready to hire a team, hire a team. There's, Mm -hmm. there's like so much in there. And I don't want to make this podcast episode, just talking about what's inside (laughs) of business by design. I really want to highlight your story, Jess. Like what have you been able to experience since like, what was it? July, 2019? Like how has your day-to-day life and especially how you feel like, I really want to talk about like the fact that we set goals and desires for ourselves for that feeling that we think it's going to give us. Right. And so how does it feel now to have a business that is running? Um, and, and also, well, we'll talk about that after my mind's going in like Mm -hmm. a zillion directions, (laughs) but like, how does it feel? What does day-to-day life look like? How has it been different from like this time last year? I love that question. So going back a little bit before July of last year, why I started my business was in September of 2018, my husband was laid off and I was a crappy beach body coach, like not really giving a crap about my business because it wasn't in alignment. And I just like, I was going through the motions. I was all the things. I was a star diamond. I was the head of the market council. Like I had the things, but I just was like about all of it. Mm-hmm. And so I was trying to reignite my passion in my business when I had this like lightning moment. And so when I started my business, he had to go back to work, obviously, because we had hit rock bottom. My thousand dollar a month revenue from that wasn't going to support us. And so by in July of last year, I had made the goal that like, I want to take my family to Disneyland. Like that feels like freedom to me. So we planned a trip to go to Disneyland in September and we road tripped it out there. It was like a comedy of errors. Our car broke down in the middle of Utah. Oh, we had to wow. rent a car. Like it was everything that could go wrong did go wrong. But the fact that like we're supported and the universe brings money that you need when you need it. And like there were no financial issues. And after that trip, my husband quit his job and decided to come work with me in the business. So not only like did joining that program change my business in general, but like it gave us the emotional and like the freedom to trust that money would come. And of course it did. And like, everything was amazing on that trip, even though with a different mindset, you'd be like, Oh my God, my car broke down, like in the middle of a road trip, like everything sucks, but it was such a great trip and such a great lesson. And then him coming home. So now during quarantine and during all of this, my husband's home with me, our daughter came home from school. So he's homeschooling her 
and, or was they're done now, but like we get to have a summer together and we get to be together as a family and we haven't skipped a beat at all. Like wow. we are just like, it's given us the freedom to live this life by design and create exactly what we wanted because I took that leap of faith and made that investment. What a blessing. How did, um, this situation, this pandemic that the world Mm -hmm. is currently going through, like how did that impact your business? If it did, like what, what have you, what have you noticed has happened in your business in the last like couple months? And depending on that, like, do you have any advice for other business owners out there who maybe are stuck in fear right now or uncertainty, um, who haven't maybe quite understood how to manage their, their mindsets and their emotions and their thoughts around this time and what they could do about their current situation? Yeah. It's funny. I do think that something big has changed in my business since this started, but it's probably not what you're thinking. I had this realization early on and I even had a podcast episode about it, how like the predominant energy right now is fear and you can choose to tap into that fear or you can choose to vibrate at a different frequency. And when I made that very conscious decision, like I am not available for fear, I'm going higher it unlocked something in me to let go of all fear. Like I was still holding myself back. I was still playing small. I was still not saying what I wanted to say. And making that conscious decision woke me up to the ultimate truth and what I'm really here to say and creating this program that I'll be launching next month. And like, really, it gave me that like, you know what, if not now, whenever, right? Like we're in the middle of a pandemic why are you not living your best life right now? Why are you still choosing to hold yourself back and be in fear and worry about what other people think about you when you could just say what you want to say and let people think what they're going to think? Mm, Amen to that sister. And so what did you experience in the last three months as a result of you choosing that higher vibration? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm happier than I've ever been. And my family is happier than we've ever been. And we're more abundant than we've ever been. We've been stimulating the economy. We redid our backyard and like, we're still like, we tip ridiculously because like, we want to continue to bring the flow. And we understand that the people who are working like these essential jobs, like as if much as we can keep flowing that money, like we're so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. And like, we feel so at peace, like nothing in our life right now feels uncertain And I think that that's such a blessing because there are so many people who are tapping into that fear energy and are choosing to feel down or feeling defeated or like they can't make something happen. And I think that right now we're really waking up to the choice and like you can choose to argue for your limitations or you can choose to see this as an opportunity and to pivot and to innovate and to create what's next for you. And I think that the best, I mean, it's proven that the best things come out of crappy situations. Like the best businesses are started in this and the best innovations are started out of situations like this. And I think that you have an opportunity at every single level to draw the line in your sand and say, before this happened, I was this other person, but now I'm elevated and I'm up leveling with the rest of the world. Thank God for people like you and thank (laughs) God for podcasts and Instagram and all the ways that we can connect to thinkers like you, because I wish that this is what the media would be Mm -hmm. like reporting. And I've intentionally followed certain accounts. I don't normally follow like, um, just like on a day-to-day basis, but I found some accounts that like literally report, um, how people are pivoting especially business owners, how brick and mortars have pivoted during this time and how they're thriving and how they're choosing to thrive. Some of them not as much, but they're also noticing that because of their online presence, they're maybe not making as much money right now because their product actually cannot be viable via the internet at this moment. They haven't figured it out, but their audience has blown up and grown and they're like, holy crap. Yes. Right now it's like, you know, the, the, the revenue is a lot lower maybe not, maybe no revenue whatsoever at all. Mm -hmm. But when we open back up, which is inevitable, I don't think like, I don't, I really don't believe that it's going to be like this forever. Like it just can't be, you know, a lot of States are already opening back up, but like, imagine what that visibility and presence Mm -hmm. will do for your business when you do open back up. And 
I think that sometimes we come into this like end of the world mindset where we forget that this many things have passed in the past and this too shall pass. And at some point, like in the future, you're going to be living out whatever vibration that you chose to tune into during during this time. So if you chose to hide, you're going to get the results of that hiding Mm -hmm. when it's all said and done. Right. But if you choose to show up and double down and triple down and go and create more content and help more people and launch, even though people might judge you for it, Mm -hmm. you're going to live out the end result of that, no matter what. And so at least that's like what helped me every day. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be living out the result of my vibration today. So what do I want to, what do I want to create in my future? Because whatever it is, it's going to come from right now. Um, which I just love everything you said. It's, it's so freaking good guys. Like, I hope you're listening, replaying this episode a million times, taking notes from Jess, because what she's saying is gold and, um, incredible, incredible. Um, let's pretend for just a moment, Jess, that your best friend or someone you really care about is perhaps struggling in their business right now or struggling to see like the the upside of all of this. And you know, First of all, you know that they're on the fence of investing into something like business by design and they're mm-hmm. filled with all this uncertainty. What would you tell them to help them jump off that fence and dive into their dream business or at least building their dream business? Yeah, I think that, I mean, I feel like, and I don't, I don't know if he planned, I'm sure he planned this launch way before like everything happened, but I feel like right now is the perfect time to get into student mode again. And so if I was talking to somebody who wanted to do this, I would ask them, where do you want your business to be in three months or nine months or 12 months? Like next summer, when you look back on the last year, do you want to say, man, I was sitting in my crap because of the coronavirus and I didn't grow my business and now I'm struggling to keep it together. Or do you want to say, man, I'm really glad I made that investment. And I took the time that I had to become a student again and really get curious and start learning again in my business and implementing that. And now your business has grown tenfold because of that decision. And I think that that perspective and like, let's play this out a year where like we are back to normal and the economy is flowing again and it's a different normal, but like the, the digital economy is not going away. You guys like online businesses are booming right now. And You could sit here and say like, oh, this is happening, which is evidence that I shouldn't start a business. Or you can look at it and say, all of this is happening, which is evidence for why I should start a business Mm -hmm. and play that back and say, yeah, like, I'm so grateful that I started this a year ago or almost a year ago, because look what I've been able to create in that time. And so much can happen in a year. Oh my God. So much can happen. much can happen. You know, what's something that James said uh, when I was in his course or doing, I don't know what I was doing. I was like somewhere, somewhere, in, somewhere inside of BBD or somewhere. Mm-hmm. I was listening to something and he was like, so for me, one of my personal motivators has always been, uh, where would you be one year from now if you didn't do anything? Right. And so for me, it's like, oh my God, my biggest, like away motivation, like I don't want to go there is to be in the exact same place as I am today, even though like life is great, but like, I just, I just, I have this like hunger and desire to constantly improve and constantly Mm -hmm. manifest more and more and more epic stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, and what he said just like blew my mind. He was like, he asked like the audience, whoever he was talking to at the time, he was like, where do you think you'll be in a year if you don't, you know, do X, Y, Z and everyone's like same place. And he was like, I have to challenge that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, he's about to say something I've never heard. What do you mean? Not the same place. Where would you be? And he's like, if you have, let's say you have a goal, for instance, of like, of um, losing weight, for instance, and you're about like 10 pounds overweight, or 20 pounds overweight. And currently your diet is just like cheeseburgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're not exercising, not taking care of yourself, not looking after yourself. And um, you just keep going on with that. You don't make any changes. You don't make any new decisions. And he said, in a year from today, are you only going to be X amount of pounds overweight or is it going to compound yeah. and get worse? Because things in nature are either growing or dying. And as things are flowing forward, if you're not making any decisions, you're actually falling behind and things are actually getting mm-hmm. worse. And I, my brain exploded in that moment. I was like, that is so 
effing true. Mm-hmm. Like the, the first of all, not making a decision is a decision. Right. And second of all, not making a decision as time is still passing, time right. is going to pass anyway. Like by you not doing anything, you're actually making things worse. And that was just like, whoa. Um, Jess, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story and all your tips and advice. It's so inspiring to see you grow. Can you share where we can find you and hang out with you and find out more about the gifts and services and products that you offer to the world? Yes, of course. So I'm on Instagram at jess.oconnell underscore, and you can follow me there. And then I also have a podcast called Decide to Rise. Mm. And so you can join me there. And then, yeah, I'll be launching my new signature program called Standout Sales this July. Amazing. And what is that program? Um, what is, who does that program help and how does it help them? Yeah, it helps women entrepreneurs who have been stuck in the hustle or trying to get some traction in their online business stand out online by like looking at things backwards and stop the cycle of spaghetti launching, which is what I call it when you just throw everything at the wall and really like identify what your purpose is, what you stand for and what your signature methodology is to create a program that creates lasting change. Incredible. You guys, we're going to link all of that in the show notes, any, any important links or anything we talked about um, during this episode, you can find in the show notes by swiping up, I guess now you can do that on iTunes Mm -hmm. and, or if you're on Spotify, I don't know, somehow find the show notes. (laughs) But um, also if you were moved by this episode or by anything that Jeff said, um, whatever your takeaways or breakthrough moments were, your aha moments, we would love to hear them. Take a screenshot of this episode and tag at jess.oconnell underscore, right? Yep. And at Manifestation Babe, and let us know and share all the love with Jess. Send her a message, leave her a comment. You guys know what to do. Um, thank you so much for being here, Jess. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. Yay. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.